Hey everyone, I'm Jay Howman, founder and webmaster for ChristianMusicReview.org and Kingdom Builder TV. And this is a frequently asked questions video regarding our visit to the set of Courageous back in June of 2010. Uh, since we came back from the set, we've had a lot of questions asked, and a lot of those questions have been answered online. But you know, I thought uh, I'm a very audio-visual type person. I like to hear stuff and I like to see stuff, and I know that you're probably the same way. And I've written down six questions that I get uh, asked the most about our uh, visit to the set and um, just what we think of, of the film and just the whole experience. So I'm going to go through these questions and answer these questions for you. And there's six questions here, so uh, hopefully I've answered your question by the end of this frequently asked question session. The first question is, uh, how were we able to visit? Um, how do we get, did we get chosen to visit the set? Um, how did that work out? Um, I had actually, uh, through Christian Music Review, had, we had promoted both Facing the Giants in 2006 and Fireproof in 2008. And we had done interviews with um, Alex Kendrick and um, we did interviews with Kirk Cameron for Fireproof. And whenever we, um, when we were going through those promotions, we had done reviews for the film. We had supported the film through promotion on our website, through banners and stuff. So when uh, the time came around to when they were going to start filming Courageous in May of 2010, uh, I actually got an email from their publicist uh, asking us if we'd like to visit the set and be able to uh, take a look at the filming process behind the camera. And of course, I'm like all for that because... Uh, I've been blessed uh, with CMR to be able to do a lot of things, be able to meet artists, be able to interview and be part of ministries throughout the last seven years, and uh, that was something that I have uh, had always wanted to do, visit a movie set, so um, of course the answer was yes for that. So we were invited to the set, we were given a couple different uh, weeks uh, to pick from that we'd go up there for a three day stay on the set, and uh, the three days that we were up there was uh, June 7th, 8th, and 9th, which was a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, 2010 so we were in Albany Georgia uh, in probably some of the hottest times of the year it was in the 90s the entire time we were there and uh, so that's how we came to visit the set to begin with the question that I get asked the most is um, very few people outside of actors and directors and writers and stuff are able to visit a movie set and a lot of people have asked me um, what was it like visiting the movie set and um, the closest a lot of people get to visiting a movie set is, is uh, maybe uh, watching the behind the scenes uh, footage that's shot for uh, DVD and Blu-ray releases these days. So uh, actually a lot of what you see on those behind the scenes are actually what it's like to be on a real movie set. Um, when we first got there uh, we had gotten a chance to talk to executive producer Jim McBride and if you're familiar with Jim, Jim actually played, played uh, coach Bobby Lee Dukes in Facing the Giants in 2006. He was the opposing football coach on that team. And when we got there, we actually uh, we sat uh, with him at dinner um, on that Monday, June 7th. And uh, one of my questions to him was, uh, what was it, what was it going to be like um, on the set? And uh, Jim comes from a, I believe it's a military or army background. He said, well, it's, I can best describe it in a way uh, that, that they do in the armed services, a lot of hurrying up and waiting. So when you think about that, hurry up and wait. Um, that was uh, the case. Um, there was a lot of downtime between uh, some of the takes that we had done. But uh, visiting the movie set, I mean, the, the set was, it was not like in a studio um, like where you had fake props and stuff around you. Um, Sherwood Pictures uh, uses a lot of the community around them as their natural backdrop. Um, so whenever we did the, we we took part in two in two scenes of the movie, um, and uh, the one scene was a funeral scene. The funeral scene was shot in, uh, I believe, was the youth chapel of Sherwood Baptist Church. Um, that's where the funeral scene um, that you'll see in the movie was shot. And then the 5K scene was, I believe, on 3rd Street or 3rd Avenue in Albany. And whoever was the whoever the location scout was for the 5K scene is awesome because this street, if you can imagine looking down a street that's um, about a mile long, uh, you have these oak trees on both sides of the road that kind of, the arms of the trees canopy over it, uh, making a natural protection from the sunlight down the street so it was like it was like in the 90s outside 
and we were wearing pretty comfortable clothing. We were wearing our our, our run our running clothes, but um, if the sun was beating down on us all day uh, with that um, with the 90 degree heat out there, it probably would have been unbearable. So the experience on the movie set was uh, second to none. It was very a very cool experience, and we were glad to be able to take part of that. One fortunate thing we were able to do while we were on the movie set is not only did we get to take uh, we all got to, to take a look at filming from behind the camera, but we actually got to be in front of the camera um, as extras in two scenes. And uh, Greg Clifton and I, uh, Greg is the guy who went on the trip with me. Um, all the photos and video that you see where I'm in front of the camera, Greg took all that video. So he did a very good job at getting all that um, captured on camera for us. So we really appreciate Greg's help with that. But um, we did, uh, we did two scenes. I actually did three. There was a scene where they had the second unit actually um, take an exterior shot of people walking into the church uh, for the funeral scene. Um, uh, the funeral scene was actually, we were told it was for the funeral scene, but when you watch the finished movie, they actually, I guess they use it later on in the film, um, uh, towards the end of the film. So um, the second scene, uh, the first big scene that we had taken part was, was the funeral scene itself. And a lot of people ask me who the funeral's for, and I don't want to say who it's for because uh, it might ruin your movie-going experience. So let's just uh, leave it at it's a funeral. So um, just uh, leave your leave your imagination guessing. So uh, the funeral scene probably took about I would say we were probably in there about an hour hour and a half for the funeral scene. Uh, what they did was they just took sweeping shots in the very front row. Uh, the main actors. Um, they also had a camera that was on um, like a cart that they pushed down the aisle and got shots from the side of people uh, that were in there. And I was actually on the end of the one shot and um, it was actually pretty cool. And uh, between watching the scenes, or between um, being able to uh, take part in the filming for the funeral scene, we actually got a chance to uh, see about, I want to say about 12 uh, finished scenes that had been filmed for the movie already. So it was a very cool experience. We got a chance to see, um, uh, today's, uh, today's March 30, 2011, and just to give you an idea, last week, last Thursday, we actually got a chance to see the finished film. Um, and uh, I remember a lot of the scenes that we'd seen uh, that Stephen Kendrick had uh, showed us on set. Um, I had seen in the movie that we saw last week. So it was cool to be able to see those scenes months before we'd actually see them put together for, for the finished movie. Um, so that was cool. So after we done, uh, after we did the funeral scene inside Sherwood Baptist Church, which is a beautiful church, by the way, I got a chance. We had enough downtime to where I, I was able to walk around the hallways and just uh, view all of the all of the nostalgia. Sherwood's is an older church, so um, they go back uh, into the uh, the mid to early part of the um, 20th century. So it's actually it was very cool. They had a lot of uh, past pictures of pastors and uh, members of the church from you know 50 years ago. Newspaper clippings of stuff from Fireproof and Facing a Giant and Flywheel. So it was uh, it was very cool. It's a very beautiful church. Uh, the second scene that we did was the more challenging scene, and uh, I didn't know much about the scene other than it was a 5K father-son race scene that we were going to be doing that was going to be um, that was going to be play a part uh, in the end of the movie. And it's was uh, we got out there in the early afternoon, right after lunchtime, and we probably did I would say four or five different shots um, at different angles where they would uh, the cameras would be in front of us, the cameras would be beside us, the cameras would be um, like in the middle of us, and then there was also shots where they actually had a steady cam hooked to a four-wheeler, and they would actually uh, ride the thing, ride the four-wheeler uh, right next to us as we we're running by. Um, the racing scene in the movie is actually probably about, uh, I would say about seven or eight seconds long, but uh, the filming for it that took a lot longer. We were out there probably about five hours, and um, just a funny story, when we were out there, they took all the different shots, and um, you had the, the Duggars were out there as well, the Jim Bob Duggar, uh, Josh Duggar, who was the oldest of the children, and uh, most of the kids were there. I think there were three of them of the 19 that were not there. Um, we were out there all day, and um, they had, like I was saying, they had, they had um, 
four different angle shots that they were doing to get this race scene. And the funny thing was, is um, I went up to Alex Kendrick, and uh, this was we we're probably just about done with shooting the scene. And I had asked him, I said. I said, um, what other shots are you guys going to be doing today? I'm just curious because we've done this shot, we've done this shot. And he said, well, we're going to be doing this this one last shot from uh, a running along side angle. And if you watch the trailer on CourageousTheMovie.com, you'll actually see the side shot um, of Alex. You'll see Alex running along. And that was the shot that was actually uh, filmed from the ATV, so or the four-wheeler, which is pretty cool. So... I'd asked him about that, and he said, yeah, man, just stay back and uh, join us in this final scene. We're going to be doing this final thing. So the funny thing was is that uh, all the other media ministries and um, uh, ministry leaders that were on set with us, uh, unbeknownst to me and Greg, um, had already got back on the charter bus and were headed back to Sherwood Baptist Church for dinner. So after we got done with the shot, I'm looking around, and I'm telling Greg, I said, I don't see, I don't see people here from the set, or, or the media people from the set. Where is everybody at? So we're looking around, and I asked, uh, I I'd asked Alex, I said, I said, Alex, I, I think we may have gotten left. Um, and it turns out we did. Uh, we missed the bus. We're like the little, the little school kids that missed the bus to school. But uh, it was funny because... Um, you know, Alex had actually arranged for us to ride back to Sherwood um, with Jason McLeod. And if you've seen Facing the Giants, um, Jason McLeod is the guy, is the football player during the death crawl scene who's actually holding a player on his back and walking. And uh, we got to, it was a cool experience being able to ride back to the church with him because we got a chance to talk with him. And I uh, told him, I said, I said, so was that scene pretty hard to do? And he's like, oh man. He's like, there were, we took, we had so many takes of that, I felt like my back was broke. So. It was cool being able to ride with him, and it was an ongoing joke uh, the rest of the time we were on set that we were the two that got left behind. So it was uh, it was a it was a good getting left behind experience because um, we ended up making the final shot uh, that's actually in the movie. So um, I was very excited to see myself uh, and see the, all the hard work and running and stuff that we had done uh, actually make it in the movie. So that was very exciting. So. Um, that was uh, pretty much it. The third day we were there, we actually got a chance to just sit down and sit back and watch a scene being filmed from behind the camera. So that was our experience as being extras in the film.